what's the deal with 16 year old girls and sailing around the world? You know, like, isn't hanging out outside McDonald's smoking cigarettes good enough for these girls anymore? She's, she's humble, she's genuine, she, she goes after what she believes in, everyone loves her. She's basically Kevin Rudd eight months ago. Yeah. The BP oil spill. Have you guys uh, been following that? Any of you guys watch the, the live cam that they have of the, of the oil? on the internet, it's called uh, Spill Camp. Obviously they were looking for a name that can kind of convey a kind of useless gimmick that monitors the oil without being able to do anything about it and Fuel Watch was already taken. <laughs> so, uh... I'm a bit unsure about the word spill. Is it a spill when it's still happening? But it is now, officially at this moment, either the third or fourth largest oil spill in all of human history. And uh, I don't want you to get too worried about that because it's still going, they've got time to reach number one, okay? So. <laughs> but I did want to talk about the blockade a bit. Like some of the things that are banned are coffee, uh, coffee beans, cinnamon, uh, cement is banned, and what was the fresh meat? These things are all banned from going into Gaza because they can be used in weapons. And there's no explanation given for this to the people of Gaza. And I know a lot of people have talked about the innocent civilians suffering because of this. But for a moment, I'd like to talk about the poor terrorists that are sitting in a room with cement, cinnamon and coffee beans thinking, how the fuck do we make it work? What everyone agrees on in the crisis, everyone, is that God is on their side. Which is interesting. It says, firstly, that God, really, a bit of a slut, you know? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like, I appreciate slingshots and the use of those weapons, you know? David used them against Goliath, right? But if Goliath had been a tank, I'm pretty sure it would have ended differently. <laughs> you know? This is obviously the Holy Land that we're talking about here, you know? And Jesus is meant to arrive back here. I think we can all agree, we better hope he doesn't try walking across the water, right? <laughs>